Ay, ya no me es. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, welcome to the sauce, mom. Hit that button and say subscribe and join the ride. You feel me? Hey, kill shit. And I'm back on the run again, running from all of my problems and other shit. There is nobody that I got a problem with. You got a problem, you know who to come and check, get. Check, 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 check. Y'all know I like looking at evolutions and through the years. I've, if you look at some of the most popular videos on my channel, they all through the years. So now we looking at through the years of my career on 2K. Every single version of NBA 2K's my career since the beginning. I play. I think it started 2K10. And I definitely played that. If it started like 2K5 with 24-7 mode, if they count in the 24-7 mode, the only 24-7 I've ever played was on 2K6. But I've been playing any any type of my career since like 2K10 all the way up until now. I've played every single one, so let's just look back on what's the better part of a decade of NBA 2K's My Career by Tim Forkin. Let's see what they talking about over here. As of this video, we are a decade into 2K's My Career. You're lying. It is often the reason why people buy the game, but well, the I game mode it. actually started off very bland. Content Don't creators like Chris Move came along and put their spin on it. <laughs> I remember he used to put scenes of other games in his videos, insinuating that his player had a life outside of basketball. Yes, sir. UK took note of this, and it helped shape the mind. Chat, let me know down in the comments. You think Chris moved the reason they added a story to my career? Because the way he just worded that, like the way he made it seem like Chris Move was the main reason that inspired 2K to add a story. Along and put their spin on it. I remember he used to put scenes of other games in his videos, insinuating that his player had a life outside of basketball. 2K took note of this, and it helped shape the my career we know today. In this video, I'm going to be giving a recap of how each my career story went down. Also focusing on the presence of a plot, the yes, quality sir. of the writing and cutscenes, and how realistic each story actually was. Here we go. Let's get into it. Let's go! 2K10! Through 2K14, the PS3. My career was first introduced in NBA 2K10. It was yes, called sir. My Player, which was a brand new game mode in which you could create your own NBA player mm -hmm. and follow his journey. And this is when I found Chris Move because he, because I was searching on YouTube how to get 99 speed on the draft combine version of the game. I was like, how do you get 99 speed on your My Player? And Chris Move video popped up, and I've been watching them ever since. They started with the draft combine in NBA 2K10. Yes, sir. They took it out to replace it with the Rookie Showcase in 2K11. The Rookie Showcase was this fictional event created by 2K in which your entire draft stock was based on one single game, in which you play with and against the top players in the draft yes, sir. in order to showcase your skills to every NBA team. And it was a good idea. But the draft combine worked perfectly and actually happens in real life. Exactly. This won't be the last time 2K goes away from being realistic on purpose. After the rookie showcase, your player took three interviews with teams that are interested in drafting you. Mm -hmm. Your interviews ultimately determined where you were to be drafted, and that was it. You get drafted, you play games with your team, and then you- It used to be so hard to get picked number one, like being the first overall pick because you only had one game. There was It was next to impossible being first overall pick. You field questions and press conferences after those games. There's a few things to take note of here. You have control over how you responded to each question. But this is something nothing. that 2K will take away from you in subsequent games. 2K is also quirky in how they make you answer questions. YOLO, baby. And from 2K10 to 2K14, <laughs> your player is voiced that. by a man named Mark Middleton, who... Growing up, we all thought was black. I ain't playing for them. I'm playing for the ones that are here every game. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. On last gen consoles, the plot of your my career story, well, there was no plot. It was a linear experience that each player experienced the exact same way. Then you don't believe in me. I'm out of here, man. Make it happen. Yes, sir. I really did the like the consoles last. consoles unlocked a whole the last new year. world for 2K to create a more in-depth my career mode. 2K14 follows the same path as the previous years mm -hmm. with the rookie showcase and a draft. The main difference in 2K14 is that for the first time ever, we had a there's story. glimpses of a plot. It seems like your player really needs to make the NBA. It's his destiny. Oh, I will, coach. Oh, I will. This is what I was born to do. For the first time, there's a supporting cast around your player, including your childhood friend slash agent, 
he is the one that secures your spot in the rookie showcase. Man. <laughs> this is what's up. Bam! Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think that is? NBA Rookie Showcase, New York City, baby! <laughs> Let's go! That's the shot we've been waiting for. When you get to New York City, you play in the Rookie Showcase, you but hope. not before you meet your arch nemesis, Jackson oh, Ellis, look at AKA him. Jerry from the Wells Fargo commercial. Jerry. For the first time ever in my career, you have an enemy. Your coach tries to warn you about him. Before we get out there, I want to talk to you one we more time. We don't care about, about the Jackson ops! Ellis. But his warning does no good, as you eventually scrap with him anyway. Yes, sir! Before and after the Should've game. Should've threw hands with 2K him. 2K brings back the pre-draft interview process, and you and your agent take on the draft together, in which more times than not, Jackson Ellis gets drafted over you. But then, your time comes shortly after that. A few games into your NBA career, one of your teammates gets injured, and then it's your time to ball. A fun fact about this mm -hmm. edition of 2K is that your player is a mind reader. Huh? Just wanted to let you know that you did a great job filling in. I know you've been waiting for more time with that performance you earned. Thanks, it. man. I really appreciate that. What? Message received loud and clear. Appreciate that, man. Bruh. They're messing with us now. Another fun fact. He trying to be silly. You know they didn't had an opportunity to hire all those voice actors. You saw what happened in 2K15 when they tried to get the NBA players involved. 2K15. 2K15 took a different route, but it finally abolished the fictional rookie showcase. This edition of my career starts with you going undrafted. Your player is whiny about it and he blames his agent. Cause you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Chaos ensues, chasing him around your apartment until he finally Beating hits you up. with a Hey, chill man! I know this isn't how we wanted it to go down. Your agent assures you that there's a road less traveled that awaits. He's mm. certain that a team will call for your services later on in the season. I don't for a few 10-day contracts by the team of your choosing, and you eventually make the team, I hope. Unlike 2K14, your player does not have the ability to read minds, which is nice because 2K went through the trouble to grab a voice from each of the 30 teams. Good, I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard, listen, watch how we do, and you got a chance. Whoa! Now let's see what you got. Andre Drummond is a good voice actor. He actually can read his script, unlike most of the people we had in the game. I played for the Pistons, so Drummond was my veteran in my ear. Jackson Ellis is back, but in the form of a sneaker agent after he blew out his knee in the NBA. This is one of many scenes in the game where your player assumes his position as what the What is he looking at, bro? Post Master General. It's too bad that we can't play one on one for. Look at his Look. eyes. Stay on my phone and stay on my face. <laughs> don't you ever knock? I don't like your face. I don't like your question. Don't talk anymore. Next. Whoa! Instead of a fictional enemy, 2K pits you up against Dante Exum, of all people. Going through this footage reminded me of two different things. Number one, Dante Exum is in the NBA still. Is he? I didn't look. Number two, I will never take someone seriously if they're talking crap to me and they have an Australian accent. Maybe, but he's gonna have to go through me to get the. Also, our Dante Exum was your op. I totally forgot about that detail. I totally forgot about that. Look at this guy. And he supposed to intimidate me? Who did 2K think this guy was going to become? LeBron James. He ain't nothing. Who did they think he was? Huh? No way. Our player accurately predicts Exum's NBA future. He's about to take the league by storm. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> a constant theme in 2K15 that takes away from a semblance of a storyline is that most often, your player comes off as whiny and entitled. Pistons have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. You can also make the choice to leave your own MVP press conference, which is highly unrealistic and a perfect representation of how much of a douche you can be. I'm sick of the same old story I'm fed from the PR people and your handlers. How about a little spontaneity just for once? How about this for spontaneous? Oh, 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 hey, wait, 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 it's not worth it. Nah, man, forget that, old pansy. This was your MVP speech? Why would you 
get into a fight with a reporter at your MVP conference. You just won an MVP award. How could you be mad? Buffet eating food with your laptop and your recorders and your bad haircut. Look your at bad this attitude. guy. Freaking blood suckers. Y'all make livings off athletes like me. Except for Pharrell. Hey, Pharrell. Hey, I thought that was you, man. Hey, man. Good game. Hey, thanks. What you mean you thought that was him? Who else would be courtside with that hat? What are you talking about? I thought that was you. Who else was this going to be? Why was he wearing this Yogi Bear hat, huh? Like, 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 at this time, this when he dropped because I'm happy. Nobody told him that was a dumb hat. Did nobody in his life communicate this hat was stupid? You wear the hat too much if they felt like they need to put it in the game. That is terrible. How you wear a piece of clothing so much that the people felt like they had to put it in the game? What was he wearing his hat for? Worst, worst, worst idea Pharrell ever had in his life. What was he doing? And nobody decided to talk to him about it. Hey, I thought that was you, man. Hey, man. Good game. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll catch you later? Maybe. 2K16! This gotta be the best one. This had to be 2K16 the best story. 2K16 comes along and everything changes. Spike Lee turns my career into a feature film titled Live in the Dream. Now, boom, boom, the cutscene is the focal point of the boom. game. Or at Bang! Least the, the game starts out with your player, frequency vibrations, the first of many whack my player nicknames. Why couldn't your name be like AJ? Like, come on, bro. Why would they even, why would you even do that? Frequency vibrations? And then the backstory as to why your name was frequency vibrations. You were dancing in your mother's stomach? And that name stuck with you for the rest of your life? Are you out of your mind? You could have called me AJ. You could have called me LeBron. You could have called me tomorrow. But why would you call me Frequency Vibrations, nicknamed Freck? What is a Freck? What are you talking about, bro? And, and that's the only problem with this whole 2K16 story. Because everything else was flawless. You grow up in and the rookie season. Like, I don't know why they broke your rookie season up like that. And they gave you no other cutscenes for the rest of the story. That is what messed up. Those things ruined it for me. Harlem, you're surrounded by your parents, your yes, twin sir. sister, Cece, who could not possibly be my twin. Your best friend, Vic, is there, along with your girlfriend, Yvette, a little bit later in the story. The game starts in high school for the first time ever, where you dominate and eventually win the state championship. Yes, sir. Oh. Along the way, college coaches from across the country are recruiting you, and ultimately, you have to make a decision. I've decided to go to the great University of Michigan. <laughs> we sliding. We sliding. Hey, don't break, break, break. Just like we practiced today, all right? <laughs> yeah. Mama. Wow. You play well enough in college to catch the I've never seen none of that. Michigan is is that where your bomb player supposed to go? Cause they went over the top with Michigan. <laughs> Mama, did y'all know that was in the game? Wow. You play well enough in college to catch the attention of star agent Dom Pagnotti, who is also the same guy from Spike Lee's He Got Game. Gold, forget about it. Silver, forget about it. You have platinum and diamonds. That's like having speed and power in the NBA. That's diamonds and platinum. Gold, forget about it. Silver, forget about it. That's like speed and power. And that's what I have. Pagnotti gets you drafted in the first round. Yes, sir. And your squad is there to celebrate. But the NBA brings out the worst in Vic as he is a constant embarrassment to you. He ain't no embarrassment. He's street real. What are you, dumb? And your brand. After a drunken incident with the police, your owner has had enough and he bans him from all team activities. Tension arises between the members of your crew and your player does his best to try to set them straight. But you don't think I realize that I have vultures and blood sucking leeches in my life? Also, it just so happens that when you were in high school, you killed a man, so you can't get rid of Vic because he knows the truth. You owe me. Oh, yeah, you owe me. Yeah, how you figure that? Big time. Uh-huh. How? 
How? Dirt, bike, done. And it, when he pulled back, he fell down stairway by himself right, and right, cracked his head right. in two. Yo, man, hey, that, 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 Yo, it's all good. Wait, I totally missed that. Your mom player was supposed to have killed someone? Yo, this story gets better and better. Did y'all actually know your mob player killed somebody? Vic goes That's away lit. for a while after you give him one of your cars, but spoiler alert, Vic dies. Mr. Van Leer was killed in a car accident. What's going on? Yeah, that's right. This is the first sports game ever where somebody dies. Just two years prior, you were limited to press conferences, and now you have to deal with the loss of your childhood best friend. At least nobody got to know about Dirt Bike movie, Donnie. You are played by Saronis Jackson, which is the first person besides Mark Middleton to play your player. After the movie is over, the cutscenes don't come back, and it kind of sounds like your player is back to being voiced by Middleton. It's like there's someone out there. It's something that's controlling me. It's pulling my strings. This is the first game in which there is a true plot with real character development and well-written cutscenes that are executed by real actors. It isn't perfect, but it's very good. You are rooting for your character to do the right thing in each cutscene. The main issue with 2K16's My Career is that it does something that should never happen in a sports game. The story takes away from the gameplay. You can only play 9 games max in your rookie season, all but disqualifying you for the Rookie of the Year award, and you can't make any decisions that change the course of the storyline at all. 2K took a risk with Spike Lee, and while it wasn't 100% perfect, they laid out even more foundation for the future of the My Career series. Yes, sir! Like, chat, I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm gonna pick up 17, 18, 19, and another one. But we, this video running too long, chat. We're gonna, we gonna cut it here. That Stuke 16 is a lot to handle. We're gonna cut it. We're gonna pick this back up later.